Hey, hi, genius. Welcome back to my channel for another video. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Kalisha and I am a registered dental hygienist. And in today's video, I'll be taking you through a day in my life. I post content like this every single Friday. So if you are interested in dental hygiene videos, dental hygiene vlogs, or anything in that category, I want you to consider subscribing. I love to have you a part of the community. Um, today's video is gonna be a little different especially if you're a returning subscriber you know i'm usually popping in um in the camera actually but no i'm trying something a little bit different today i'm doing a voiceover but i'll still be popping in momentarily talking to you all so let's just get into today's video hello hi genius it is currently 8 09 and my first patient is a late yes supposed to be here eight o'clock but he is late but until he gets here i'll just give y'all a rundown of my day today is looking pretty promising um my nine o'clock is the only patient that is not confirmed but she usually never confirms and she always comes so i'm still expecting to see her at nine if not earlier so this patient is supposed to be here it needs to come on but nevertheless i'm here until about 4 30 today um, I have three patients this afternoon and four patients this morning um, and the patient after lunch at one o'clock is a new patient. I saw his mom earlier this week and she let me know that he was coming in this week. Um, so he's about 21. He's 22. 22, excuse me. He's about 22. So we'll see what he has going on. Um, she didn't preface me, you know, with anything outrageous or anything. So he should be pretty simple. After about 15 minutes, my patient finally decided to show up. And thankfully, he only had just a few teeth. So here you're going to see me just putting his partial in the cleaner. I use a little bit of tartar and stain removal solution with mouthwash and water. And I just put it in the ultrasonic and let it clean throughout the duration of the appointment. I'm interested to know what do you all clean your patient's partials with? Um, be sure to let me know down in the comments. And here all I'm doing is just taking his yearly bite wings nothing too jazzy about that but as you can see i really don't use the wren very often i just use a little cotton pad so let me know what you all do when you take patient x-rays so after the appointment is done um all i do is just clean my room up um i have a quick turnover routine i just go ahead and remove everything first except my instruments and then i get some wipes cabicide spray wipe everything down after I'm done wiping everything down, I then take my instruments to the cleaner and then I come back and just set everything up. I love to already have some mock tray setups um, available so that my turnover is super quick because I mean, you really only get about, oh my God, maybe five minutes to do this. If that, it really depends on how long or short it took during your patient appointment but i'm pretty quick with this and you'll get in the flow of what works for you as well but now what i'm doing is just setting up for my next patient because again i was running behind as you can see after i'm done setting up i like to go ahead and write out my patient notes let me know if you all wait to the end of the day to write your patient notes or if you try to get them done immediately when the appointment is done i find myself trying to allot myself at least two minutes to do this i think it's great to have templates because it's just a few clicks you type a few notes in and you are done because i cannot um remember every single patient and what they had going on and hold those notes to the end of the day so this is my next nine o'clock patient um when she finally came in i went ahead and got her i only had to take two quick little anterior pas on her and then we're just gonna get going with her appointment um as you can see i just have a little routine i do i like to put my glasses on test the light and move my hair before I glove up um, that way I'm just avoiding any cross contamination and then I'm just gonna go on with the appointment so let me know you all's way of doing your appointment do you chart first do you clean first and then chart I'm interested to know usually I you know do my charting first and then I clean profi floss and throughout that I'm giving oral hygiene instruction It's currently 11.39. I finished about 20 minutes early. I'm about to get ready to go to lunch. And 
Oh my God, excuse me. <laughs> but I'm about to get ready to go to lunch and I do have to start back driving home on my lunch break now because my cousin has moved to her college dorm and I have to go and let Jax out. So before I go, I wanna give y'all a rundown of what I did this morning. I didn't film a whole lot because y'all know if y'all are regular um, subscribers that it's pretty routine what I do. Um, but I can walk you all through the cases that I've had this morning and just show you some x-rays and the treatment plan that we have for them. So I'll just start with my eight o'clock patient. Um, he is a regular every six months. I would like him to be four months, but he always denies coming more often. So he's a six month patient and every time his complaint is how much he hates his lower partial. Okay, he hates it. He wants something permanent. Um, so let me just show you his x-rays and what we have had treatment plan for him for years and today he finally sat down and like um, Actually scheduled to get the appointment done. It's gonna bite the bullet and go ahead and pay for it So I'm happy about that because I'm tired of him coming in with the same complaint and it's like you're the only one Holding you back, you know, you're the one that can you know pay and get something permanent but you don't, you just complain every time. But nevertheless, he's finally gonna get that done. Hopefully he keeps his appointment. But um, this is the plan that we have right now. Of course, all the red is what he needs done. So he just needs a crown there because in a minute you'll see that he has, matter of fact, let me go to his x-rays first and show you all his x-rays. So. Okay, here are his x-rays, just bite wings. So just gonna blow this picture up. Um, as you can see, this tooth here is on the treatment plan for a crown because if you can see, it's leaning. It's like leaning, it's super erupting. Um, so we were gonna make a crown there and kind of shorten that tooth um, so that when we place a partial here, um, I mean, when we place his bridge here, right now he wears a partial, but when we place his bridge here, that his bite will be correct, it will be better. Um, so just gonna go to the next x-ray um, and the next other side. So we have a bridge planned here to replace that missing tooth. So just a three unit bridge. And then on the bottom, going back to the treatment plan, you saw where we had two um, pretty much six unit bridges down on the bottom. He's pretty much missing the same exact teeth on the bottom. So those will be six unit bridges. Um, and then this is how his overall arch looks. So um, he's gonna have a three unit bridge up top in the upper left, which is your right right now. And then he's gonna have um, a six unit bridge on the bottoms. So. Um, his partial will be able to be done away with and those bridges will be permanently cemented in. So that's this case. That's pretty much all I had on that one. So I'm gonna go to my next patient at nine o'clock. She does come every three months. The reason she comes every three months is because she has a dry mouth and very cavity prone. So just about every tooth in her mouth has some kind of restorative treatment on it. Um, so just going to look at her x-rays. The only interesting thing about her is that she has a bridge right up top, up here, um, like a four unit bridge and one, and it's hanging on a root canal. And it's been doing very well. She keeps the gums underneath it very clean. But again, I just see her because of the one amount of bone loss that she has. We just keep a closer eye on her. And then she has um, dry mouth, severe dry mouth. So we just come take x-rays more frequently to make sure she doesn't have any cavities around her fillings um, or crowns. So yeah, she's had a ton of root canals. So as you can see. On my 10 o'clock patient, um, he comes every six months. He's much older, he's about 70 something. Um, but he doesn't have very many teeth on the bottom. Um, he wears a partial on the bottom as well that he's pretty much you know, happy and satisfied with. He keeps his teeth pretty clean. Um, so I'm gonna show you his panoramic x-ray of how he looks. Um, this is pretty much his x-ray. Um, so like I said, he doesn't have very many teeth on the bottom, just two back ones and then um, K9 and K9 in the front. So he wears a partial that works, you know, pretty fine for him. Um, and he also has pretty interesting um, teeth up here. He has uh, root canals on four teeth up here. And then all of those up front are actually connected. They're crowns, but they're connected by one bridge, but the rest of them are connected. So I do have to use my string floss in between 
um, each one of those crowns when I floss him at the end. And then my last patient that I just finished comes every four months and she also wears a partial on the top and the bottom. And the only thing we have on her plan is to eventually crown number 29, but this is how her overall um, mouth looks. So she has no front teeth. Pretty much she has some canines um, and on back, but no front teeth. So she wears a partial on the top and bottom, which she doesn't like, but they do work for her. So she's not, you know, wanting to replace them, but she has really good oral hygiene, but I just see her every four months for the amount of bone loss that she has on the bottom teeth. And she also does get, you know, a bit of buildup sometimes around her very, very back teeth. So she comes a little bit more frequently. So yeah. That was all my morning patience and that took me about five minutes to go over with y'all. So now I'm about to get in my car. Well, no, before I go, I need to go ahead and sit up for my one o'clock patient because early this morning I did tell you all that he is new. So I do have to take a full mouth series um, on him, which because he's so young, I may just do a pan and bite wings, which I think I'm gonna do because my x-ray sensor has been acting really wonky when it comes to taking like actual individual periapicals so i'm just going to take a pan and four by wings so i'm going to go ahead and set up for that and then uh, we'll be able to go on the lunch so let's do that i'm just go ahead and open up his chart and get to the x-ray screen um okay got that done and i also need to go and set up the pan i need to bring some instruments in my room because i don't have any so all the patients are out. We've sanitized for lunch hour so I can walk through the office without my mask. So I need to get my instruments, which we keep them in this drawer. Um, sorry for, let's do a quick ASMR as I get my instruments. tray is ready to go now let's go set up the panoramic x-ray which is down the hall set y'all up right here but first i'm gonna go ahead and pull his chart up and then I'm gonna wipe the machine down just in case someone did it the last time they used it because you never know and it's better to be safe than sorry. So we're gonna do that. Let's wipe this bad baby down. What does your office consider a full mouth series? Do you all take four bite wings in a pan or individual periapicals and a pan or do you do either or i'm interested to know in the comments we take a full mouth series plus a pan all right we are ready for the pan when i get back from lunch so now i'm just about to go home i think i got spaghetti i got spaghetti for lunch so we're about to go check on jacks um and we'll be back i'll be back around like 12 55 i'm gonna go ahead and clock out because it's like 11 50 now and it takes me about 10, 12 minutes to get home, 10, 12 minutes to get back. So oh, it's a hustle and bustle again during my lunch hour because usually I can like go sit outside and eat and just relax for my whole hour. But now at least 20 minutes of it is like driving. So that's that. But you know, that's the sacrifice that you do for your kids. So yeah, let me go check on my baby and I'll see y'all at the house and then we'll come back um yeah at one o'clock
He's so excited. See him, mama. <laughs> so excited. Go potty, Jax. Go potty, baby. Go potty. Go pee pee. Jax. You supposed to be pee peeing. Go pee pee. All right, Will. Come on in the house. Yes, he ain't got a potty. I'll let him try and go out again before um, I leave. Well, I'm gonna get my lunch together because your girl is hungry. Um, I got the pee for one, but I got spaghetti. We ground turkey, so that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the microwave before I go potty, and then I'll check in with y'all later. All right, friends, we are back from lunch, and it is time to clock in and do it all over again. And I don't know about you all, but after lunch, I never feel like working. I get the itis, and I get lazy i mean i almost have an attitude i just want to get out of there at this point especially when i have to go home to let jacks out because i get comfortable and i get the loving on him and i'm like why well, i gotta go back to that place but nevertheless um it's time to get back to work so i am just getting my tray ready for my next patient getting everything set up Now that my new patient has arrived, it is time to take that panoramic x-ray that we set up for before lunch. Um, at this point, I'm just giving him directions as to how to bite, what to expect. Also, I let him know what we use this x-ray for. I'll also show him how his x-ray looks, but right now it's just spinning like it usually does. I escort him to the room and then I come back and I go ahead and clean it up for the next person that needs to use it. So I know y'all like, hold up, wait a minute. That is not the same patient. No, it's not. This is my last patient of the day. But in a second, I will walk you all through what happened with that patient that I just took the panoramic on. Um, and I also have some cool photos to show you. So be sure to stick around for that. But this is just one of my good friends that I've made throughout my years of working here. We were watching Criminal Minds and we were just in the groove. But if you do notice, I am standing up throughout this appointment because sometimes, especially after lunch, I like to stand up and work because I like, for one, I'm tired. I got the itis. If I'm sitting down, I'm lazy. So I like to stand. Um, and not only that, it gives another muscle group a chance to kick in and work. So it takes a lot of strain off my back and my neck and all the reaching and stretching I have to do because I can walk a lot further than my chair allows me to move. So highly, highly recommend you all stand up and use a different muscle group sometimes. And let me know if you already do so. Um, let me know if you all have any stretching techniques or any yoga technique something that can help with lower back or if you all go and get massages regularly let me know because i am in dire need of some tlc my body needs it after five years of practicing as a dental hygienist so if you all have never done standing dental hygiene i highly recommend you do so okay y'all so it is currently 4 24 i actually finished up a little earlier than i thought i would um but my one o'clock patient um that new patient did go over his appointment by like 20 minutes um he had a lot of build up it had actually been about three three and a half years since his last cleaning however he didn't have any bone loss he just had a lot of inflammation and bleeding and tartar so I did a 4346, which is a gingivitis prophy. Um, his insurance, well, matter of fact, he didn't even have insurance, but it would have been a disgrace to like charge it in actual deep cleaning when he didn't have bone loss. Uh, well, not disgrace, but unethical is more of the term I was looking for. So I just did a gingivitis prophy. Um, he'll be back in a few weeks just for me to check up, make sure his gums has, have healed well. And I also gave him some chlorhexidine rinse to take home and begin using twice a day. Um, so I did take a few um, before pictures. Well, I stopped me at cleaning because I was like, I need to get some pictures for the vlog. So 
I took a few um, before pictures of some of the areas of buildup and the inflammation and recession caused by the tartar. So this is a picture of those front interiors. Um, as you can see, this is tartar. I had already cleaned this one off. So you can see the recession and the inflammation there, but um, this is tartar that I eventually got off. And then this is just a closer up picture of that, or maybe it's the next tooth over, but it's still right in the front. And then these are the bags. Um, you can see all that tartar in there. I kind of had already gotten like the big hunk off in between the teeth, because you can see the little blood, the sulcus in the blood there. And it was also tartar down in those receding areas. But y'all, this wasn't even half. I mean, it was so much build up. Um, and he had a strong gag reflex, like just going to his second molars mid air, not even touching him. He was like, you know, so it was tough getting through that cleaning. And then his gums were really tender to me cleaning. So I had to use topical, but he didn't want to be numb. And it was just a whole ordeal. So it took about an hour and 30, that was about an hour and 30 minute appointment, which, you know, it's okay. At least he got cleaned up. Um, and then my next person, pretty standard every four month. Matter of fact, my last two were pretty standard every four month cleaning, nothing really going on. Nothing to really show you all there. So currently, like I said, it is 427. I have a few more notes to write and a few more things to do before I close out for the day. My tomorrow people are already confirmed um, and I don't have an 11 o'clock. So I may just go to lunch early. Um, tomorrow and let that be that so i'm trying to be out of here before 4 30 that means i got two minutes so i'm about to close the rest of my day out and i will see you all in my next video at the end of the day i like to pull up my day sheet just to make sure that everything i did was built out under my name to make sure that no money slips through the cracks okay my friend um but thank you all so much for hanging out with me today if you like this style video let me know by giving this video a thumbs up um comment down below and engage with me answer some of the questions that i asked you if you like content like this and you want to see more be sure to hit that subscribe button i'd love to have you a part of the family thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll see you in my next one bye hi genius